Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. On today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to show you how I use Inkscape to improve the images that I bring into Cricut Design Space. Now Inkscape's a free design software. If you've tried it before and you found it very difficult, the newest version, Inkscape 1.0, is really very user-friendly, has a really good interface. So give me just a few minutes of your time and you'll see why I love it. So let's just find an image to work with. And coloring book pages are some really good places where you can find some images that you could use in Cricut Design Space. So I'm just gonna Google black and white coloring pages, then I'll go to images. Now you'll see some of these have nice dark lines. Those are dark, this little ladybug is dark, this little cat's dark. Some of them are really dark. Those will be beautiful converted through Inkscape. And then you have this little Pikachu guy and it looks like he has some lighter spots. Let's just click on him. Now he looks like he'd probably work okay. But I want to do this cute little minion from Despicable Me. So I'm going to drag it to my desktop. Then we'll start with Inkscape. I want you to see what a beautiful job this does. So I'm going to click on File, Import. And he's right here, so we'll bring him in. Now on this screen, I just click OK. Then my lock button is on, so I can drag this and he'll stay the same dimensions. If this is unlocked and you drag it, he's going to get wonky. So let's go back and go ahead and lock it back and make him even larger. While he's selected, I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and then I'm just going to leave all this alone and I'll click OK. Now, if he shows up here, it means you have a trace. If if he doesn't show up here, you don't have a trace. Almost everything I've tried traces. I did have one the other day. I could not get it to trace, and I have no idea why not. So I had to find something else. So I'll go ahead and hit the red X. Now there's two layers here. There's our old layer and our new traced layer. Let me just drag one off. Okay, so this is excellent quality. This is fuzzy. If you're watching this on a phone, you may not be able to see the difference as much. This one is really good, this one is fuzzy. If you're not sure which one to delete, you're not sure which one is the old one, you click right here on these nodes. Now we're not gonna go into this at all. This is just to show you which one you wanna keep because the new one has nodes, the old one doesn't. Let's select the old one. See, there's no nodes. So you know this is the one to get rid of. So I'll go ahead and just delete him off the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to save it as Inkscape Example 2. Okay, so now let's go over to Cricut Design Space. And I absolutely love my Cricut. I am not complaining at all. But Cricut's research and development mainly goes into its machines. Okay, let's upload. Upload image. Browse. And then we're going to go back and... Get our little minion, click open. Now, this is very contrasty, high contrast colors. We can go with the simple scan. Click continue. Now, let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Now, if you've used this feature before, then you know that you need to make sure the select and erase is clicked. And then you just click on everything that you want to go away to make it a cut file. And everything that's separated by lines has to be clicked on separately. So this takes a little longer. It's not horrible, but it is a little bit longer. And this is a pretty simple image. But even more important than that, you're going to see a huge difference in the quality. Okay, I'm going to make it even larger so I can really see the details. There may be some white in between these hairs. Let's preview this. Ooh, sure is. Okay, so okay, I can get rid of some of it. This little 
any white piece. I don't know if I got rid of it or not. Then I still have some details right here. And then the soles of his shoes. Okay, so I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. Looks like there might be some white left here. And here. Okay, so we're going to click continue. And then I want to save it over here as a cut file. So I'll say Cricut example one or two. Cricut example two. So here's my Cricut. Let's go ahead and put it in. And then we'll go back and let's see, we'll upload the Inkscape one. And let's see, what did I, there we go, Inkscape, Inkscape example two. And he's finished, so I can just bring him in. And then I'll add him to my canvas as well. Okay, so this is my Inkscape version. I think I'll just make them the same size. Let's make, and it's locked, let's make them eight inches tall. And then we'll make the one that we did in Cricut Design Space eight inches tall. Here's the two examples, and you can see the one that was cleaned up in Inkscape is so much better quality. Now I do see one little thing. I see that the soles of his shoes aren't quite solid, so you could either fix that, draw a line there, or you could just contour it out when you cut this, or when you cut it, just take those pieces out and don't worry about them. That would be fine. Everything else, though, the quality is just so much better. Okay, we're going to do one more example. And since it's Christmas time, I'm going to upload Santa and his sleigh. So we're going to say simple, continue, and then we're going to click to get rid of all the white once again. Okay, may not be perfect, but we're going to go ahead and say continue. I want it to be a cut file, so I'll click over here, and I'm just going to call this Santa Slay. Then, once again, and you'll see how fast this can happen. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. File, Import. Instead of Open, you use the Import. And it's Images PNG. We'll just click Open. Again, I just stick with the default the defaults. Okay, it's still locked, so I can make it a lot larger. Then it's still selected, so I'll go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and then I'm just going to say OK. Now I've clicked OK already, so I can X out of that, and then I can drag off my new design. Look how crisp and clean this is compared to this one. The original was nice, but this one is really nice. So again, just to see which one is the new one, just to verify, click on these nodes. There's nodes on this image. We'll select the top image. There's no nodes, so that's the one I need to get rid of. So I'll go ahead and go back to select, select it, delete it. Now we're going to save as. So let's bring that one in. It's already nice and cleaned up, so we'll save it. All right, so we're going to upload the one we did in Cricut. Now I'm going to upload the one that I did in Inkscape. Or I'm sorry, I'm going to insert the one I did in Inkscape. And again, 12 inches wide. And you see vast improvements. Look at the detail. It's just so much better, so much cleaner. It's going to cut so much better. So I hope that I have convinced you that you should learn some of the basics of Inkscape if you're using a Cricut.
It really is a wonderful piece of software. And if you take it slow and watch videos, just learn each step that you need at a time, you'll get there. Thanks so much for watching today. Until the next video, bye-bye.